On to this story now. The International Astronomical Union recently invited South Africans to vote on a name for a new exoplanet. In the, it was discovered in 2012 using the Super Wide Angle Search for Planets Telescope at the South African Astronomical Observatory Sutherland. The exoplanet is about a thousand times the size of Earth and is similar in composition to Jupiter. Let's get more on the story from Sivuile Mangoi, who is the manager, the manager of the Southern African Large Tele Telescope Cal Collateral Benefits Program. Um, Sivuile, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, first question, what is an expo planet? Okay, an exoplanet is uh, planets that are revolving around stars um, other than our sun. So the Earth is revolving around the sun. So is the Earth is within our solar system. So you've got eight planets that are revolving around the sun. But around other stars that are within our galaxy, there are also planets. So the planets that are found outside of our solar system are called exoplanets. All right, um, I'll try to gather my thoughts around that. Now, the closing date for putting forward names for the Expo Planet uh, has come and gone. Why did most of us not even know about this discovery and uh, how we could name it? Yeah, there the, the, the are quite a number of planets that have been discovered uh, also from telescopes that are based in Sutherland. Uh, just this year, we had a number of of, of of uh, planets that were discovered using uh, one of a telescope based in Sutherland called the KELT telescope. So also this one was discovered in 2012 uh, uh, using WASP tele Super WASP telescope. Uh, we do have press releases and also we have uh, uh, public lectures you know, trying to inform and communicate that our findings to the public. We also work also with teachers you know, and the schools so to try and publicize all these discoveries. So tell me, um, which so one? So even this one wa was publicized through. So the Super Wasp, uh, the, the Wasp uh, 62B, was discovered in 2012. So there were press releases that were issued, even when we, with this competition, we put it also on social media, and just general media, in in general. Um, I saw that some of the names are, for instance, Naledi and Ingoma. Tell me which names have made it on the shortlist. Okay, the, the, uh, we received 205 uh, proposals, you know, uh, from the people. So we did a short list and we have four pairs of names. Uh, the first pair consists of uh, Krotowa and Naledi. And the theme for this one is to honor women that... Uh, have, have, have overcome difficulties. You remember that Krotowa uh, was a lady that was uh, living in the 16th century uh, in the Western Cape and uh, acted as a translator or interpreter between the Dutch settlers and the Khoi and the Sen people. So she had lots of struggles. Actually, she died in Robin Island. So the name was, the, the person suggested that name to honor her. And also Naledi means uh, the, a star in Sitswana, Sisudu, and Sipedi. So, and uh, a, a number of girls and women are named according to, are, are given this name, Naledi. So that's one pair. The other pair is uh, Ingoma, and, uh, Ingoma and Ubunye. So the person suggested that, you know, the star must be called Ubunye. This is to promote uh, unity in diversity. And then the name of the planet that was suggested by this proposer was that uh, Ingoma, which is a traditional dance that is performed by Isizulu speaking people. And the person suggested that other planets could be named uh, also based on the dances performed by different cultural groups in South Africa. Uh, the third one is called, uh, the, the third suggestion was uh, Rochefeld and, uh, and Hanaha. So the person uh, based this on the, on the fact that uh, Rochefeld is the mountain on which the observatory is built on. And the telescope which discovered this planet is based there on the Rochefeld mountain. And Hanaka is a pass through this mountain. So the proposal suggested that the star could be called Rochefeld and then the planet WASP-62b could be called Hanaka, you know, 
based on the past. And then the theme there was that all the other planets that are revolving around WASP-62 that could be discovered in future will be named according to the passes through this mountain. And then the fourth, the fourth one is Celestium and Buhu. This is uh, based on the fame of species that is found in South Africa and, and, and it is mostly found in the Northern Cape and in Sutherland. So Buhu is one of the herbs that people use uh, to cure some kidney related ailments so it's drunk as a tea and then celestium is also a herb I think uh, in the Khoi language it is called kana so it is a herb that is used for to, to, to deal with depressive moods and for relaxation so Thank those were the four names that were suggested Thank you very much. That was Sivuile Mangoi, the manager of the Southern African Large Telescope Collateral Benefits Program, joining us from our studios in Cape Town.